Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm finally back with the Freelux One palette. It has been a while. Before I was like in a roll and did a lot of Freelux One palette, but they take a lot of time for me and also for doing a Freelux One palette I don't want to spoil any of the looks in a video before the Freelux One palette. So I haven't like had the time to do a Freelux One palette, but now I have and you voted for this palette in my last Freelux One palette and I will put up a new voting up here so you can vote on which palette you think I should do next. So the palette for this Freelux One palette is the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe, you already know it. It looks like this, it is 15 colors and I think I know what I want to do with all the looks, I'm not 100% sure but 90% sure we maybe can say. So I will just hop in and in the end of this video it will come a little review on this palette and I will leave timestamps down in the description if you want to see just the looks or a special look or just the reviews so you don't have to watch the whole video because these videos tend to get a bit long. So I will stop talking and do my makeup so we just hop into the first look. So okay for the first look I want to do a all purple look. I think I've never done an all purple look with this palette. So I will start with this iris and put it in my whole crease. The whole freaking way. It is a little bit darker than it looks in the pan, maybe I should hold it back here, but I f it is so hard. Purple is a hard color to do and I think that even like a pastel purple is even harder because pastels are hard colors to do. I have nothing against this color, but maybe I wish that it was a little bit like brighter but so something like that I feel like I want to take it pretty high and then I will go in with Mohan 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 this dark purple and first take it in the crease just out here but not the whole way in but just to like Darken the outer crease down a little bit. Okay, now I took it the whole way in. But, okay, no more sh color on the brush, just something like that. And I don't think I even have used all the colors in this. I think I haven't used this one and this one. I think all the other colors I have used. And I actually think I will take the same and put it on my lid as well. So maybe I could have taken this brush to put it up in my crease as well. Okay. What's done is done. And this is so easy. As you can see it's like the eye is already finished and then I just want to go in with this that I had in my crease from the beginning and just smudge it a little bit here. Okay and then I'm going to do this faux cut crease that Betty Jean does and I don't know I want to take one of these three shimmers so I think I will just swatch those. Okay so these I think this would be great with the crease color. But these all look super good. Okay, this is like... This is hard. But I don't think this one because I think this is too... I don't want it to be dark shimmer as the dark purple out here. I want it to be lighter but I don't know if I want this one this one. Okay, I will take this one. 
And for my faux cut crease I will take NYX Glitter Glue. It doesn't feel like the shimmers in this palette is that... Um, some of them are easier to work with than others, but they all are workable. <laughs> Or what you should call them, but it feels like some of them are easier than others. Okay, maybe I should have gone with this one. It's a little bit too late for that, and now I got the glare glue on my pants. But then I will also go in with the dark purple again. Just a little, little on brush. And just try to... blend them in a little bit together, better together and then I actually feel like I want to go in with this that I had in my crease again just to blend it in together there better and maybe this is something we can work with I don't know if it is that good that I imagine it to be but I don't think I hate it like, purple is the only color that I haven't start to really like yet. Green is like... I've always like hated green, but now I, I really like it. And blue as well, but purple... We're not like friends. But I think this will... This is pretty okay. Actually, so I will do the other eye. I You don't need to see that, so I will fix the other eye. Take away some of the fallout, or all the fallouts. I don't have that much fallouts. Fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and we do the under eyes. I will try to only do pink with this look, but I can't promise now. Pink, purple. I will try but I can't promise. So I will fix the rest and then I will come back and we finish up this first look. So for my under eyes, under eyes, first I was like, am I going to do a whole shimmer under eye? No, I'm not. So I think I will take these two. Um, yeah. So I will start with a dark purple. Take it out here. And then for my inner part I will take huh, this one and I will spray it. Okay, so I think this is good for the eyeshadow. I will take a purple liner in my waterline, of course, because this is going to be all purple. I will put on mascara and a lippy and then I will be back with the first finished look with the Hasina 2 palette. So I am back and the, yeah, I went all purple. I took I'm Royalty, I think it is, from Jeffree Star on my lips. and. I excuse lip application, but you know, first it was like bigger here, and then I was like, I have to have it bigger here, and then it was bigger here. Not good. But this is my first look with the Hasina 2 palette, and this is all over the purple place. It's all purple, as you can see. I... I like the eyes without the lips, I think, but I don't like them together. But I think YouTube need more crazy lips, so I just went all in with the crazy lips. So, yeah. So, for this first look, I used these four purples here. And I... Yeah, this is what came out of that. I think that these two go really like good together. It's like this is the shimmer of this, so it's the same shade, but this is the shimmer and this is the matte. 
even though it not look like that in the palette, but I think it it feels like it is like that on the eyes. So yeah, this was my first look with the Hasina 2 palette. If you want to see the other two looks, just keep on watching. So it is time for look number two and today I think I want to do mostly matte. Maybe only matte. I will start with this one and take it in my crease. I want to do a matte look and I want to do a green look. And this green is really pretty. Something like that I think. I, I really like the green in this palette. I think they are so good. They are like the best of this palette really really like them and then I want to take this dark green and this this like mossy green and this black one on my lid but I don't know if I want to take this in my crease as well I think so so I will take this mossy green with a smaller blending brush I don't really know if I like this one this is from NYX it's their a 16 Small blending brushes is like not my thing. I can understand why people like them, but I really don't. And it's so freaking hot today. And that's one thing with my work. I work in a warehouse, so I am going to work in the morning when it's like 15 degrees, something like that. I don't really like it. It's it's a good temperature for me because I hate warm weather. And then I am inside of a warehouse the whole day. And then when I'm going home from work, it's like 27 degrees and I'm like, it's so freaking hot. And I am driving a scooter. I have a car. But um, I have sc electric scooter as well. Now in the summer I take that one and it's so nice to be on that one. Okay, stop talking about my scooter. So something like that and then I actually think... Okay, I think I will take the same dark green and put it on my almost my whole lid. Not like, or should I start with, because I want the black as well. And I want this on my whole lid. I don't know if I ever used this color before. And now when I am using it, I am like, what the hell? Why haven't I used this one? It is such a nice... Okay, I think I'll take it like that and then I will go back in with the blending brush and just smooth out the edge. I don't have any more color on it, just smooth it out. Maybe go in a little bit more with this. I'd scratch my nose a little. Okay, and then I will go in with the black one, Ash. And this is very, very black. And I will put this out here. And yes, I have to be a little bit concentrated on what I'm doing. Okay, maybe these were pretty similar. in with the brush again where I had the dark green. I take some more of the dark green on my blending brush and just take it a little bit more in the crease. I don't really know what I think. Okay, Which one did I have? I always do this. I always take... 
I love the Linda Harburg brushes, so I always take only Linda Harburg, and then I don't know which shade is on which brush, but I think it's this one here. I think we maybe go like this. It's very, very dark. I don't know what I expected, but... <laughs> so I think I want to do something in my inner corner, like an inner corner highlight or something like that. Just to brighten this up a little bit. But I will do my other eye as well. But I will not film this because this is going to take a while and I guess you don't want to listen to me talking for forever. So I will scratch my ear. I will fix the other eye, fix my base, my brows, then I will be back and we will see what we do with the under eyes and if we're going to do something fun in here because I like to do fun stuff in here. So I will fix everything and then I will be back. Okay, so I am back and I think I want to do the same on my under eyes but only like until here or something and then I want to do something else. So I will take this dark green and put it on my lower lash. So for a little popping in the corner also down here I want to take this one, Jade. That's the only green shimmer in this palette, so I will spray this. So I want to have like a really smooth inner corner and then also have it in my lower lash. Something like that. I actually think this this works pretty good. So I think something like this and I don't really know what I want to do on my wash line. I think I have a dark green just like this so it would suit very good but also I want I think I want to do something else. Maybe something really poppin' Or maybe take something that is like the shimmer shade. I will check a little bit what I have. I will put on a lipstick and mascara. And then we will see the finished second look of this Relux One palette. So this is the finished second look. And I did take Rosewood from Anastasia Beverly Hills for my lips. I wanted to go like all red. But I think I need to tone down the red. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. But I really like this lipstick. And I think it's go good with the eyes. So for this second look with my Free Looks 1 palette. With the Hasina 2 palette. I used these three. And this one. So four colors in this one. And I like this one. Green. As my new thing. I think. And these are amazing to work with. All these colors that I use today. So yeah, this is the second look with the Hasina 2 palette. And if you want to see the third look, just keep on watching. And if you want to see my review, also keep on watching. So it is time for look at number 3 with the Hasina 2. And of course, I'm going to use my like absolute favorite shade ever in this palette. And that is Re. And I am of course doing a halo eye today in this look. And I think I know which colors I want to use. So I will... I think I actually will start with this one. This blue matte. Put this in more crease. I don't know if I've used this shade. Okay, so this, it is darker than it is in the pan, or maybe not. Maybe a little bit, like blue. It's a hard color to do, and I am... I, I didn't want like a light blue pastel, so... I am not disappointed 
with this at all. So I think maybe something like this. And then we are going into re and have it out here and in here. This shade is such a unique shade. I really, 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 really love it. And I am trying to make my halos a little bit like bigger, just a halo. And I think I think I fucked it up. Okay, so I think that this has to be enough. And then I will actually cut the halo with clear glue. I think I like better to cut with a clear glue than with a concealer. I just realized I really don't know which shade I am going to use for the halo. Okay. Swatch time. I don't want a purple even though I think it would look cool. Okay, I think I will take this one and that is that one. And just pop it on here. I don't know if I am in love with this halo, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think I have to take a little bit more of the reshade. It feels like it's become pretty dark halo eye. And I don't know if I like the color in my crease. Maybe I should just have taken re in my crease as well. So I think I will... Take re a little bit higher. Okay, what do you think about this? I'm not sure. But I think I need my brows for this. Because it looks strange sometimes with like blue hair and no brow. So I think I need to do my brow. And I think I... Yeah, I just know I went over with some glitter here. Not yet. Maybe I think I take re on this smaller blending brush and just try to take it a little bit higher and like mix it in with the blue. Okay, so I think we just have to live with this. I think maybe when I do the under eyes and everything else it will look better, I really hope. Because I think I have high hopes for this look. So I will fix the other eye, my base and my brows and then we'll be back with this third look for this free looks one palette. So it's time for the under eyes and I think I will go in with these. Please do do like a halo. So I think I will start with Re. Put it out here and also in here. This brush is a little bit too big for this. And then I will take the blue one and pop it in the middle. I don't know if that's even visible, that it's two different colors. So, something like that. And for my waterline, blue or green, blue or green or something else. I don't know. Maybe I should do a purple. Is that maybe a good idea? First I was like going to take the Sulu. I always take this one or... 
like teaspoon or maybe this one. This is DTLA. Yeah, I think we will take this and put on mascara and a lippy and then I will be back. So this is the finished third look with the Hasina 2 palette and I don't know how many times I'm going to say Hasina 2 in this video. For my lips <laughs> I took Oh Snap from Colourpop but it feels like it's melting in this hot weather because it, this is supposed to be matte and this doesn't look matte. I don't know it's freaking hot with the studio lights. So. This is my third look with the Hasina palette. I like this look. It wasn't maybe what I was thinking about. I think I maybe should have taken another color in my halo, but I like this. So, I think we just hop into the review part. So, what do I think about this palette? I really like this palette. I think the colors are good. And most of them are pretty good. The shimmers have a little bit different formula. It's a cat here. Um, where was I? Yeah, the shimmers has a little bit different formulas. Like this Shea one, I haven't used it in this Felix One palette by it, but I have used it before. It's not a good shade. It's very it's almost like hard pen and it has always been like that. It's not a favorite and the swatch is terrible. But like this Jade one, that's really good. And this one is really good. And these two are really good. And these two are okay. So it's a little bit different formulas in these. But I think the matte shadows are super super good in this palette. The one that I think is really unique is Re. This is an amazing shade. I really love it. I don't have anything that is like that. So <laughs> that is very good. And what I love about Re, it suits both the greens in this and the blues in this. And it's just so good. And I think it would be like great like take these three. In a look so I think the mattes are the best in this palette would I recommend this palette yes I would I I am so happy that I bought it this isn't my typical color story because I usually don't go for this maybe now I go for it more but when I bought it, it this was like my first palette like this I think that this palette is, when it came, I can't really, I think it came last year, it was pretty unique. Now there are so many like blue and green and purple palettes, it feels like, but this was very unique when it came. I still think it is unique and if you want these kinds of colors you should definitely buy it. If you want to test out Blush Tribe I also would recommend it because I think it's one of their best palettes. And yeah, I think that's maybe all I have to say. And one, okay, one other thing I also can say. When, what I want in a palette, I want like a shimmer and a matte in kind of the same family. Yes, because then it's so easy if you don't want to like think about what should I do in a look. It's so easy to just look in the palette and yeah, that and that one goes together so great. So I like that about this palette. And that was maybe... <laughs> it feels like reviews isn't my thing. I don't know. And I don't know if I should talk a little bit about what the palette contains, how many grams how much it cost and everything like that but I'm not interested in that so yeah all I can say I think this palette is definitely worth its price I really like this palette I liked it before I like it even more like it even more now 
what? Yeah, I'm really happy with these three looks. Please tell me which look was your favorite. I think maybe this could be my favorite because I love Brie, or the look, the second look maybe was my favorite. I don't really know, but I really like this look. I think it is. It it was a good halo eye. It's a bit toned down, a little bit darker halo eye, but I dig it. So yeah, I really hope you like this free looks one palette, and don't forget to vote up here on which palette you want me to do next. And I will try to do it soon, so you don't have to wait this long again in for free looks one palette. But yeah, I really hope you like this video, and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do, so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.